Alrighty guys, let me show you how to change out your M156 fuel injectors. If you guys know these motors well, you know that the fuel injectors are a common issue on these motors and uh, they can actually stay open and damage your entire motor by hydrolocking it and bending valves. So this car has no uh, fuel injector issues that I know of currently, but I figured at 85,000 miles I would change them out as preventative maintenance. Some cars will have this issue very early on, some cars will have them very late uh, in their lifetime, and some will never have the problem at all. But I figured, you know, at 200 bucks, I got all eight injectors from this one website. I'll put a link in the description below. I figured, you know, not a huge deal to just change them out real quick and have some extra peace of mind for my road trip coming up soon. Getting started, first thing you want to do is remove the engine cover. Very easy, just kind of pop it up from the center first, and then be sure not to break it on the sides. Mine's actually cracked over here, so don't want to break any more. Get these out of the way. Next up, take the intake tubes off. This might be different in your car from mine. This is an NL63. The C-Class is a little bit different, but they all kind of have the same idea. You just basically pull them off and you get them out of the way like so. With both of those off, we can go ahead and take a flathead screwdriver and uh, loosen up these little hose clamps for the intakes. All right, we can also take the uh, unplug the MAF sensors by taking these little covers off and then actually just unplugging it by pushing down to the tab. Already once you've got the masses connected and the hose clamps loosened up, you can just kind of pull on the air box and uh, it'll pop its way out of there, get this out of the way, put it aside. All right, so next up we gotta remove that sort of back intake sort of tube connector over there. There are a couple tabs at the very bottom of that little piece over there. We gotta pull up on those tabs, really gently don't break them, and then just pull up on the entire piece and it'll just kind of pop right out there. One side, there we go. Alrighty, so once we get this sort of uh, intake portion, plastic piece sort of undone, there's a vacuum lighter to move over here, which I actually noticed on my car is um, falling apart. I'll show you guys real quick what that looks like. So as you can see, my intake tube over here is just, it's totally cracked up and dry rotted. This should be replaced for sure. Let's see if I can get my hands on one of these before our trip, but um, yeah, definitely check this out. This car is 11 years old now and 85,000 miles, so if your cars around that are older, expect to replace this. Next thing to do is take off these little foam gaskets. I know some cars don't even have these, but uh, here it does. Just take it off. just kind of comes right off like so. Alrighty, next up will be to unplug this connector right over here. Just like that. Now this is where things may differ slightly between models, but on the MLC3 at least, the fuel rail connects right over there. That is the one connection you can see on the C-Class is pretty similar, but the CC3 has a fuel line that kind of goes up and over here. But overall, same idea, same thing. You want to disconnect that fuel line over there. There's probably going to be fuel in the line, so you're going to want to put a towel down there just to absorb any fuel that comes out. On um, this car, it seems that the line is a 17 millimeter hex at the end. I'm just going to put a towel down here and slowly Take it off, you see some fuel came out right there. And there we go, got that line off. Alrighty, our next move is now to unplug each of the eight fuel injectors. Now that's not very hard to do. As you can see at the bottom of each injector, there is a little bit of a plug there. And then each plug is a little bit small of a tab at the bottom of it. You wanna use a small sort of pick tool or a small flathead screwdriver to kind of push on those little tabs and the uh, plug should come right out. Alrighty guys, so while I unplug these injectors, I wanna tell you guys a little story about what happened to me and my fuel injectors on my C63. So we've owned about like, five M156s, M159s over the past few years as a family, and uh, not a single one has had fuel injector issues, and they've all come through different years and stuff like that, except our 2015 C63. Now you think, okay, it's the last model year of the M156, you would think probably less problems, right? Well, my car at around 14,000, 15,000 miles we got the car 15,000 miles, must have been 16,000 miles. Um, I was on the freeway and uh, an injector got stuck open and it uh, hydrolocked the motor. If it wasn't under warranty, that would have been a new engine potentially, um, which would not have been fun at all. Quick side, there are a few uh, little places with the zip ties actually connect the sort of power lines of the injectors to the actual fuel relay itself. So when I disconnect those, um, I'm just going to cut them off and then put some new zip ties afterwards. Uh, for now, I'm just going to cut those and be careful not to cut through the wires. So once you've unplugged all the fuel injectors, there are four T30 Torx screws around the intake manifold over here, which will allow you to release the fuel rail. There's one over here, one over there, and then there's two on the other side in the exact same positions. Go ahead, take those out, keep those carefully, and you can pop the fuel lines out. With those four screws out, all we've got to do is pull on the fuel line, just gently. Hopefully it's not too bad. They're moving a little bit. 
There we go. We got some out on this side. Right, we got all them on this side. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Now we got to snake these suckers out without really messing with all the wiring too much. Looks like there is one vacuum out of the way. I'm going to pop this guy out of its area real quick. Comes out pretty easily. Kind of out of the way there. Pull up on this guy. Wow, look at all the carbon buildup on these injectors. Whew. Anyways, let's kind of get this around the vacuum line. As fuel pours out. There we go. As fuel drips everywhere. Good. Alrighty, so with the injectors out, it is pretty gummed up in there. Um, a lot of oil kind of just sitting around. I'm wondering if it is all oil from the intake manifold, probably all built up um, from the poor crankcase ventilation. So I'm thinking I need to change out the PCV valve, put a catch in soon, uh, very soon I think, maybe after my trip. And I gotta clean out these injector ports as they are just filthy. Here's the fuel rail itself, and I gotta say, I'm, in, uh, I'm actually shocked at how dirty these injectors are now. I guess I really shouldn't be, um, as these are 85,000 miles old, um, but they have a good amount of carbon built up on them. As you can see right there, it's pretty nasty, and uh, the plastic itself is kind of degraded, so, in fact, one of the connectors for the injectors actually just broke off without me putting any, like, any force on it at all, it just kind of, like, snapped off. I think it was already cracked and just kind of came off as I unplugged it, in fact, which injector was it? This one right here, you see how the two prongs are exposed? Not really focusing, but it's supposed to have this connector on it, like, uh, kind of like this but it clearly just kind of came off. So I'm very glad I'm replacing these. These things are definitely due to be replaced. These things are nasty. Now I could have probably gone away with just cleaning these up, but um, got new ones anyway, so you know, there's no big deal really. Okay, so now I start changing the actual injector. So I've already changed the first one over here. All you gotta do is get a hold of this clip over here at the very back of the injector. Use a flathead screwdriver in your hands and just pry it off pretty gently. And the injector itself just kind of comes out if you just kind of put a little bit of pressure on it. Just like that. So like I said, these old injectors are pretty bad um, in terms of carbon buildup. Now, didn't have any problems with the car at all, but I just figured it as preventive maintenance, and good thing I did because these things are not looking very good. I probably could have cleaned them like I said, but yeah, time for some new ones. And here's the new 2020 injector over here. Take the cap off like so. Put a tiny bit of grease at the top and the bottom of the injector before putting it in. And then to install, you're gonna place it in the exact same way that the injectors are in. And just kind of press fit it in, just like that. Wiggle it around a little bit, make sure it's all seated properly. And then once it's seated properly, you can go ahead and get this little clip over here and then slide it right back on. So yeah, do the exact same for all eight injectors, and we should be good to go to put it back in the car. Alrighty, so I'm about to put the fuel injectors back in. Before I do that real quick, I'm going to get some Q-tips and just clean out the little ports where the injectors go. Um, now I'm not going to go too uh, hard on this because I know that I will be eventually putting a cash can in, which will involve taking the intake manifold off anyways and clean it all out anyways. So, not to worry about that. I might have a better chance to clean it out better um, later. So I'm not too worried about that. But like I said, I'm going to put a Q-tip in there with maybe intake cleaner. I'm just going to go down on the carbon buildup over there. And we should have a little bit better um, of a place to put the injectors. Uh, but yeah, overall, um, once you get those in, once you put the fuel injectors back in, um, it is pretty much the exact same process, but in reverse. Um, and uh, yeah, just be careful with this vacuum line when you're putting the injectors back in. And make sure to tighten that fuel line down really nice and good. And uh, before you set the car, uh, definitely prime the pump a few times. Um, try and uh, put the ignition on a couple times, cycle that a couple times before really starting the car because it will misfire otherwise if the fuel rail is empty. Engine is all put back together. Sadly, I dropped that stupid math cover on the left side over there on the ground or on the bottom of the uh, floor pan of the car, so uh, I'll have to get that in a second, but for now I'm going to start the car and let's see how she sounds. She's smooth. 
Well, alrighty, guys, that concludes this M156 fuel injector install video. Hope this helped you out. Pretty easy, I gotta say, in the grand scheme of things, not too bad. I definitely suggest doing this every 70,000 miles, approximately about that, 70, 75,000. And uh, even if you're not having any problems, I actually can tell this car sounds much smoother than before, um, despite having, you know, um, no issues prior to this. Um, on the other hand, this car, um, like I said earlier, had the fuel injector, one fuel injector fail at around 16,000 miles, kind of shockingly. Late production car, um, end of the 156 run, this car still had the problem. So all these cars are part of this issue of the injectors opening up and locking your engine and potentially causing some serious damage. So keep on top of that and uh, let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below. Feel free to DM me at sam.amg on Instagram and uh, yeah, peace out.